Hello everybody, welcome all of you. We're going to share a lot of successful updates for the 2024 intake and uh, welcome you all for this live session. Now just recheck the connections once again. I'll just set everything right. Okay, okay I think everything is fine. Okay, wonderful. So welcome all of you. Uh, so we are coming for the last few months of 2024 intake uh, we have got amazing response from the students parents as well as the universities in the form of results because anything without results it's of no use that's why i put this title 100 plus free education offer letters already released which company can do this open challenge can anybody challenge this 100 plus students we are sending abroad for free this year all are welcome to our office to see all the offer letters in person 100 plus i'm sure we will cross more than 150 175 if not also you know the children can study at 3 lakhs per year onwards it's not that everybody can get a free education which other company can do this that is why we wanted to do this web that is you know uh, instagram live to enlighten students and parents about the opportunities available abundant opportunities available but many students are still not aware about all these things so let's get into this live program and the format is very simple you all can send me your questions 9884457722 and uh, i'll be more than happy to answer them i'll immediately get the question on my screen and i will answer them okay and my name is shivaraman uh, director of europe study center the only company promoting free education high quality education at affordable cost pan india level europe study center Okay, so to start with, I would like to talk about all the news happening around uh, the overseas education industry. And to start with, let's look at the news from Indian Express. I'm reading it from the articles here. Indian students concerned about the rise in visa rejection. Here's what the Australian universities have to say. Australia has reportedly witnessed a surge in visa rejections due to some universities withdrawing admissions offers and Indian students are having to rethink their higher education plans. And Australia says no further stay in visa policy for Indians. Everywhere the problem is huge number of immigrants, huge immigrants plus the students, lakhs of lakhs, lakhs and lakhs of students enter Australia. And see, we are like no longer welcomed. This is what it shows. This is what it shows. So, and then Canada, two-year cap on international students, visas likely to impact students. Why should they have to put a cap? Again, the same reason. So much of students, inflation, housing issues, financial crisis, still, children are not getting jobs. But still, who will go? still go to Canada? Canada? You know, taking up a PG diploma course in a local community colleges. I am still not against students going to Canada for University of Toronto or Waterloo or Dalhousie or British Columbia. Please proceed to Canada. No problem. But joining a PG diploma course or a low ranked public universities in Canada is what the starting point of the problem. And Canada doubles the financial requirements for students. Again, I say all these restrictions are brought only because they want to reduce the number of students coming to their countries. and. Students are no longer read it needed because they have already plenty in their hands. And Indians in UK struggle to get land in jobs after completing expensive degree. This is another problem in UK. Again, plenty of students, literally no opportunities. And then you all know the you know H1B visa issues, and uh, only three percentage of the students or uh, the applicants are getting the uh, the green cards. But Contrastically, when you compare it with European countries, they are giving free education or very affordable cost of education with all sorts of benefits and comfort to the students and welcoming them. That is what it shows. And for example, a student going to UK university along with him to the same university, 1000, 1500 students will go. Whereas in a European country, for example, if you take Belgium or Czech Republic or Hungary, whatever, the total visa slots available for Indian students is only a few hundreds. Imagine the competition for a child entering into a country where only a few hundreds enter compared to few lakhs. 
This is why our students are majorly successful. That is why we are also successful for 15 plus years and no false promises of fake commitments. Unlike other companies, we don't tell you like, you know, we will get you scholarships, confirmed free education and you can do part time jobs and earn money. And your job is also confirmed. We are the only company not to fool around on all these aspects and still promote only the number one, number two public universities in Europe. For example, the UK promoting agents and consultants. Why don't they promote Oxford, uh, Cambridge or uh, London School of Economics and Canada promoting agents. They even have the name Canada as you know, part of their company's name. They don't promote uh, University of Toronto. <laughs> they don't promote University of Dalhousie or British Columbia. Only where they get commissions, they promote and students get stuck. This is what we wish to abolish. Any country you are going, you study in that country's premier 1, 2, 3 ranked universities. So, anybody wanting to ask me questions, you know, uh, can ask me. I have already got a uh, few questions. So, I will answer them one by one. And then, yes, we will proceed. Before that, I would like to talk about few offer letters that we have received. And usually, I used to print, but I felt like we should not print and waste paper. So, I am just reading it out from my tab. First offer letter that we got for is like, see, I am only reading few offer letters because I cannot read all the offer letters due to lack of time. And uh, for, we have an offer letter from TUHH, Chemical and Bioprocess Engineering, where they have clearly specified, please understand, the main language of instruction is English, a proficiency is in German not required. This is what I keep saying. Europe Study Center never promotes non-English thought programs and courses. Learning a language is different from learning in a language. Please remember this. Do not go abroad for non-English thought programs. And what is the fees? Fees is literally, uh, literally nothing in this case. So the next offer letter, we have it from uh, uh, University of uh, Olu from Finland. Again, you know, the student has got... Uh, uh, an admission into biomedical engineering program and then the University of Turku this student has got 100% scholarship I, I want to talk about scholarships see out of 100 students one student is getting scholarship okay I would like to put this plain and straight don't plan anything with scholarships if you get it fine because out of my 700 800 students 7 to 8 students get 100% scholarship, that is tuition fees as well as living expenses, etc. But please don't plan anything with scholarships. If you get it, it's a bonus. Okay. Then the next offer letter from Sweden. Uh, this student has got into sustainable electric power engineering and electro mobility. Such an amazing program. And by the way, Europe Study Center for master students, we always request only two year programs. One year programs are a scam. Don't fall for it. These agents will always push you to all sorts of courses where it will increase their bank balance, not your knowledge. You ask a consultant, will any student say in his life, my ambition in life is to do a PG diploma and study in a local degraded community college in Canada? Will any student say that? No. Then why lakhs and lakhs of students are going there? We all think Canada is going to change our life. Germany is going to change our life. This is how we get stuck. No country is going to change our life. Only the course we study, how we study, where we study is what that matters. So study only in top class public universities, top class B schools. And only I can say spend less and study. Don't take huge education loan and get into problems. Only we can say this. Nobody else can say all these things, my dear friends. Nobody else will say open challenge. It's a live show and I have like, you know, a lot of people watching it. It's an open challenge. Nobody will say spend less and study in abroad education. If anybody is telling that, please uh, write about them in the comments. So before we take further uh, offer letters, I would like to read some questions from students. Okay, Tejaswin from Europe. I had planned to study in Europe, but I don't know how to start. You can please guide me. There is no rocket science. As long as the student is interested to study. Please contact us. Sir, my interest is part-time jobs, these, that and all. Please don't contact us. Spouse visa, dependent visa, no time. Only genuine students interested to study alone contact us. We will be more than happy to guide you. Tejashwin, uh, you are from Euroad. We have an excellent office and excellent team in Coimbatore. Contact them. We will be more than happy to guide you. Gokul Raj, is there any scholarship op offered to students to study masters in Germany. As I told you, Gokul Raj, uh, Germany, whatever offer letters I am reading here or about to read here, 
many universities give free education. Free education meaning per semester 500 euros, 250 euros like that we always, it is almost free. So, free education. On top of it, I do not think there will be any sort of scholarships for Germany. Okay, And you should be able to spend your living expenses, take care of your living expenses to study in Germany, which is very important. Next question from Vaibhav. Hello, sir. I am Vaibhav Methal from Aurangabad, Maharashtra. Hi. I am a mechanical engineer working in TCS from the last two years, want to pursue masters in IT computer science, but can I get admission in Germany? See, see first of all, a mechanical student wanting to pursue computer science related program straight away 95 percentage of the options are kicked out okay a mechanical student has only very 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 limited options when it comes to it computer science options okay so contact us usually it's difficult okay one or two options we may have in few countries here and there but usually we always encourage mechanical students to study mechanical related and computer science students to study computer science related. Uh, to add to our friend Vaibhav's question, I would like to tell you an incident which happened last week, meaning, you know, I heard about this. There was, there is a university, okay, I don't want to say which place also. Uh, they recruited 8,000 students in the year of 2023, out of which 7,200 students are for artificial intelligence, you know, machine learning, data science and computer science engineering programs. 7200 students for computer science you see all these uh, some parents and some so called education experts are just talking about the only computer science is future all the other courses are waste this is completely wrong all courses has good future of course computer science courses are also good but to force a student without his interest just for the sake this is the jobs this is the courses which is going to get us jobs is completely wrong and please don't get into this trap whichever courses you like you pick it up and study, but study in fantastic public universities, study in universities where education is not a business. But look at what has happened here. Bachelors, artificial intelligence, data science in Chennai in a deemed university charging 7 lakhs. Parents and students standing in queue to grab one offer letter. 7 lakhs into 4 years, close to 28-30 lakhs plus bus mess other things etc etc 35 lakhs it is costing for a student maximum to study in Chennai whereas to study bachelors in European countries it's like 3 lakhs per year onwards tuition fees and masters also they can study at you know free or again 3 lakhs per year onwards so to study in Europe it's actually cheaper not because it's cheap we are going there there are other countries I don't want to name them where the tuition fees is only 30,000. I don't promote those things because it's of no use. We should go to fantastic public universities, top ranked public universities where education is not a business and completely on a service mindset, you know, they should teach the students. And next question is from uh, Sri Vijayan. Hello, sir. I am final year uh, BSc biotechnology, but in my university, they are delay in providing original ma provisional mark sheet. Can I apply for masters in Europe with college letter pad marks? See, which <laughs> this may be accepted in some local universities in UK or Canada or Australia. Okay, we are talking about fantastic public universities in Europe. How do you expect uh, uh, Sri Vijayan to accept your college's letter pad mark sheets? I am very sorry. It is not possible and I will not hesitate to say no or yes, whatever it is. We are not here to say yes to everybody and please everybody. Some may like us, some may not like us, but we always do which is good for the students and parents. That's it. That is why number one company for 15 years, single false promise we don't give. So, yes, we, you need to have your mark sheets, Vijay. Okay. Sir, can we do bachelor or veterinary science in Europe? How much does it cost approximately? Sai. Sai, I would request you, don't go abroad for medicine related studies. Total waste total waste, total blunder. Nobody makes it big by going abroad for medicine. One guy asked me, he came from, I, believe, I don't want to say the city's name also. He came to my office and he told me, sir, you have been extremely deep promoting medicine. Uh, so, my business is not moving forward because of you. And he asked me, sir, can you tell me one reason why you are not promoting medicine abroad? And I asked that guy, will you take treatment from the students whom you send abroad for medicine? His answer was immediately no. 
I said, that is why I am not promoting medicine. Just for the sake of making money, playing with a child's future is not at all ethical and it's a sin, which we never do. <laughs> so, uh, yes, you all can keep asking your questions. I'll be more than happy to answer them. Okay. The next is, yeah, there was a Slovakian university where they had a lot of recent tie-ups with uh, the companies around and they had a lot of funding. Immediately, what did they do? They waived off the tuition fees for the students. And look at what these Australia, Canada, New Zealand, Singapore is doing. They are increasing the tuition fees. Whereas European countries, they are waiving off the tuition fees. And we could see the offer letter here. And there is no mention about the tuition fees because there is no tuition fees. Uh, so, amazing opportunities. This, this free education is in a premier university in uh, uh, Slovakia. And then University of Amsterdam. Which, which company will promote University of Amsterdam? One open challenge. Single company will not promote. Why? Why? No commissions. There. None of the universities I talk about here pay Naya Paisa commission to agents and consultants. When they don't pay commissions, they don't promote it. Boys, boys and girls and parents, they don't promote it. Very simple. Very, very simple. Please don't fall for this trap. Study in UK, get a laptop free. Immediately students and parents standing in queue. And they will only give you some 15, 20 universities where they get more commissions. And which universities will pay commissions? The degraded, the low ranked, where students are not joining. Those are the universities which pay commission to the agents. I started all these things, you know, with a simple ideology. Only fantastic public universities. Okay, am I doing charity? No, I have my own bills to clear. I openly say what are our charges? What are the universities we promote and why we don't promote certain universities and why we promote only the premier universities. That's all. Whichever is beneficial to the student community, let's sit and promote that. Whether they like it or they don't like it, that is their choice. Whichever is good to the student community alone, we promote not anything else. Okay. So, the next is, uh, sorry. The next offer letter, we have it from Wagenhagen. Again, fantastic uh, uh, public universities in Europe. See, these all have a lot of entry requirements. So, I would request students to visit us, collect all the information and then plan. And I promote only the premier universities in Europe. And if you at all, you guys are asking me, sir, is my job guaranteed? Other agents are promising me job. Sorry, I cannot give you false promises and play with your life. Getting job is in your hands. Even for the admission, you are given admission based on your credentials and how will you do your Skype interview and all these things. But as long as you are open minded, you can secure an offer letter. No problem. No problem at all. But if you are stuck, sir, only Germany, sir, only Norway, sir, only Finland. My parents are not allowing for other countries. This is where the problem starts. And those are the students who land into Canada or UK. As long as you are open minded, Europe Study Center will place the students in fantastic public universities without a problem. Next offer letter from University of Twente, again from Netherlands. And then again, one more offer letter from Slovakia for a free education program. And then University of Turku, University of Groningen. And then, you know, again, one more offer letter from KTH, Royal Institute of Technology. This I need to say. See, there are some agents and consultants promoting Sweden. Okay. But they don't promote the premier universities. <laughs> they promote the Swedish Chota Mota universities. That is the 8th ranked, 9th ranked, 10th ranked university. Because only those pay commissions. Even some excellent students, even though they can ad get admission in top class universities, they are being guided to low grade universities in Sweden. I don't have words to say about all these things. See, look at where I am placing my student. You all who doesn't know about Swedish education, go and check where is Royal Institute of Technology and what ranking in Sweden it is. This is where I place the student. Integrated product design, the track that the student has chosen is track innovation management and product development, two year full time program. So, <laughs> amazing opportunity. So, then again, um, and then Technical University of Eindhoven, we have got an offer letter and then uh, University of Luxembourg. We have started promoting Luxembourg. They are getting a lot of offers. Of course, it is competitive, but still, we are uh, getting offer letter. And this student is for Masters in Data Science. And then, University of Turku and then University of Tampere. This guy, this student for a uh, Faculty of Medicine and Health Technology, Biomedical Sciences, complete scholarship. The students have uh, uh, 
received and so happy you know when we pick up a phone call and tell the students you have got full scholarship extreme happiness but please <laughs> when it comes to full scholarship only one student is getting it out of 100 all the others we can get you either a free education if your profile suits or we can place you into universities where the tuition fee starts from 3 lakhs per year onwards so the next question sir what's your opinion about management studies sufyan why not why not see boss sufyan whatever you like other than medicine okay you can go to european countries and study whether it's psychology or public health or mechatronics or electronics or robotics or embedded systems or system on, on chip whatever it is you can go and study you should have interest okay choose excellent university excellent schengen country please don't take too much money you know too much loan and study no use spend optimally learn abundantly is what is our mantra uh, mohammed fuzan Fuzan, okay i uh, sir which country is best for id uh, masters in computer science now i'm a bce final year student which is see Again, many people ask me this, sir, which is the best, which is the best? See, all Schengen countries, Schengen countries, in a sense, 27 countries, same visa, okay? Everything is good, but where we are eligible is what is the first question? We need to look at where we are eligible and then plan. It is not like which is best. Of course, everything is best, but where we are eligible, which budget suits us, which universities entry requirements we satisfy, because at ESC, I have told you very clearly, only the top class universities, only the number one, number two. If not, we go to the other country. Not like other agents sending a student to Canada for a local PG diploma program for commissions. We don't work that way. Only premier universities in Schengen countries. Next question from Pragadish. Good evening, sir. Can you tell me which country should I choose for masters in biomedical engineering? Okay, wonderful. See, first of all, I have a great affinity towards biomedical engineering. Many agents and consultants do not even know what is biomedical engineering or what is biotechnology where many students still go and take advice. See, first of all, biomedical engineering hub is European countries. The out of top three companies, top two companies, Philips and Siemens originate from European countries. So, it makes it an ideal choice for a child to, to go to European countries and study. But as always, Pragadish, we need to look into your profile, assess your profile, look into all the options available for you and where you are eligible and where it is feasible. We will surely apply a top class public university for you and get you placed. Okay. Any more questions if you all have, please ask me in this number. I will keep continuing with the offer letters. And then we have an offer letter from University of Ulm, Energy Science and Technology again from you know uh, from germany completely free education so again same like scholarships whenever you get a free education offer letter when the parents financial burden is like 90 percentage taken out only the living expenses the parents and students need to take care it's an amazing opportunity all students people ask us sir you know uh, you're doing so many webinars so many live shows uh, constantly and uh, creating awareness and i tell them yes i keep doing it because Every student coming here, out of 10, 8 students, they say, Sir, we are not aware about all these options and we have no clue these German universities provide free education and we do not know like so many opportunities are available. Why? Sir, everybody is going only to UK, Australia, Canada, New Zealand, Singapore, etc, etc, etc. Then yeah, the student asked me, Sir, why these countries are not famous? I said, these will never be famous like a UK, Australia, Canada, New Zealand or a Singapore. Why? Lacks and lacks of students go to these countries. Whereas if you look at Belgium or Norway or Sweden or Finland, only few hundreds of students go. But just because everybody is going to a place, it doesn't mean it's right. Just because not many could not enter into these destinations, it doesn't mean like it's wrong. So choose wise public universities. Even I'm not against students going to UK, provided you study in Oxford or Cambridge, Singapore, NUS, NTU, uh, US. Top 40, 50 universities, Canada, top 10 universities. I have no problems. If you have the mark and budget, please proceed. No tensions, no problem. But just for the country, compromising, you know, compromising the quality of education, just thinking the country will change us, change my life is nothing but a path towards disaster. Okay. So the next question. Okay. Hello, sir. My name is Vishnu Sendil Kumar from Kwamitur. I got visa. Uh, denied from Mumbai, Italy, but your staff from Coimbatore branch make me get three offer letters from three different, especially from Slovakia for free education for two years. I hope my future will be bright. Thank a lot, ESC. Yes, thanks. Thank you so much for your kind comments, Sendil Kumar. But please remember, Sendil, 
reach there be completely focused don't do part time jobs in them okay don't do part time jobs part time job is a trap used by other agents and consultants i don't want my students to sit and make burgers or wash plates or uh, work in a elderly care center no we go abroad to learn skills to develop skills what is not there in our country tell me my dear students what is not there in our country everything we have but only lack of quality education that is the problem we don't have many nits and iits our population is so huge that is why we go abroad not to work in a kfc and mcdonalds whenever the agent consultant says i am doing free service for you immediately run up run away from the place whenever the agent consultant says you can do part time jobs you can earn lot of money it's a trap don't fall for it don't fall for it none of my students do part time job but this is what at least i request them don't do part time job sit and study why we go abroad to wash plates or work in a kfc or mcdonalds don't take me wrong this is not the reason to go abroad then you can ask me sir how do i plan my living expenses the living expenses starts from 30000 rupees per month why do you choose expensive countries and get yourself stressed why take huge education loan go talk to any bank manager my dear friends 90% of education loans are paid by the parents not by the students and in my cases the fee structure is like free or 3 lakhs per year onwards when the student is employed they finish it in maximum 1 1.5 years pragadish okay thanks a lot for answering sir plus please, please discuss about the language which i am still confused about it's really barrier to me see language medium of instruction is english you don't have to study any other languages study develop your skills you're going to be perfectly fine as long as you keep listening to all different sorts of input we are only going to get confused just go for it work hard develop your skills everything is going to be fine and the next offer letter again from luxembourg a uh, master of data science okay and then and then and then and then again tampier university in finland and then ulb university uh, and then uh, again german universities university of stuttgart computational mechanics of materials and structures comas it's a fantastic program i'm sure this program is running for more than 20 plus years and congratulations for the students and then uh, university of resources and science uh, uh, freiburg and this offer letter is for uh, master degree program in mechanical and process engineering excellent program see all these programs are specifically designed based on the expertise of the professors based on the industries that is surrounded by the uh, universities then only these offer letters and everything is given so the next is rwth akan university and um, materials engineering again and then uh, anhalt uh, university of applied sciences and technical university of berlin uh global production engineering who promotes all these universities technical university of munich who promotes nobody boss nobody only europe study center so then uh, university of stuttgart again again politecnico di milano italian um, uh, universities so plenty of offer letters the university from nymor and then again swedish universities uh freiburg again one more swedish university mechanical engineering master program in linkshoping university the student is admitted and then the tu clausel uh, technical university of chemnitz what is the program here uh, the student has been admitted for uh, for, 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 for 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 okay uh, da, 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 necessary summer semester okay this is for uh, production technologies and then yes same university of sapienza and then university of trento and politecnico di torino all these italian offer letters this some university's name is really difficult to spell out and then congratulation to all the students who have got the offer letter okay we are so happy all these students getting fantastic public university offer letters extremely happy but the journey has just begun going abroad is alone not enough my dear friends you need to go there sit focus and study anybody telling oh you will not get jobs ignore them anybody telling it's difficult to study ignore them okay you be focused you be up for the task you will win this but if you are asking me for promises will i get my job is the job confirmed it's all these questions i don't even take efforts to answer okay getting job or even the visa admission everything based on your performance we are here to guide you like a google map you know we show you the right destinations and what time you can reach what is the cost involved and all those things sir can i reach there safely it's in your hands how well you drive the car okay 
And the next is Gautam. Can you please suggest top universities in Poland for my second master's? Poland, we are not doing as of now uh, because of plenty of visa issues. We are not doing Poland right now. Okay. We don't do it. As I told you, anything not good for the students, anything which is not going to work out, we never process it. We do not hesitate to say no. No means no. Yesterday also, uh, I met a student, sir. I want to go only to Ireland, sir. And I want to process it through Europe Study Center. I said, no. Do it through other agents and consultants. All the best. Take care. Bye-bye. And I told him, I get nothing by telling no to you. I, get, I don't get a single paisa by telling no. But I cannot work on against my ethics. And I cannot do something which I feel is not good for the student. He, the student may have different opinion. And I completely respect that. But I cannot give options which I feel is not good for them. That's why I strictly don't promote UK, Ireland, Scotland, all these things and all I don't promote. Very simple. These are all commission paying universities. Their students go there, study for one year and then do part time jobs for two years. I'm talking about 95 percentage of the students. So study in fantastic public universities. September 20, 20, 2024 intake is still open. A uh, few more universities are open. You can contact us. We'll be, you know, uh, more than happy to guide you all of you and i was so happy to share all these offer letters and uh, all the students who joined this live session i hope this was useful and this is the same number you all can contact us and very soon uh, we're going to launch a free app which will have all our 15 years of knowledge which will help you in your decision making process stay tuned for the updates very soon we'll be talking about it and making a video also about it and uh, Many students have started to apply for 2025 intakes also. I congratulate them too. And all the students who have got the admissions, please plan for your visas and um, do everything in advance because it's a huge rush when it comes to European countries. So we are doing everything, you know, one or two months earlier. And once again, I wish you all all the best. And I have answered all the questions. Thanks for taking time out and attending this session. As always, we will always be completely open and transparent. And again, some people ask us, sir, why are you not doing it for free? I said, I am not funded by the government to do it for free. <laughs> and I am not like an agent consultant taking commission from the universities. No. Okay. So we openly tell what is our charges and place students into fantastic public universities. Instead of uh, telling them we do free service and joining them into useless universities and colleges and getting commission from the tuition fees that the students pay. This is not right. That's why I don't do it. Openly, we say what are our charges and we place them into fantastic public universities and B schools for engineering management programs. I mean, MBA, MIB, whatever it is, MIM, all these courses, life science courses, science courses, all courses open other than medicine. We promote everything else. Okay. Thank you so much. Okay. One last question. Hi, sir. Myself, uh, Surya Lakshmi. Okay. Uh, that I want to go for France, my bachelor's 6 points, I am eligible to do admission master's in uh, microbiology in public universities. See, contact us. You have the number here, 988 Just for the live show, I don't want to say like others. I have seen some companies doing live shows. Yeah, 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 we will do this, we will do that, you know. Without assessing your profile, I cannot just like that blindly give you false hopes and disappoint you later. Contact us, we will assess your profile and let you know. Plus, Every Wednesday, every Sunday, four years, I have been doing live webinar. Okay. You can text the same number asking for the webinar link. We will share you the next uh, lined up link, next, next lined up webinar. For example, today is Friday. So, the next webinar will be Sunday at 7.30 p.m. And uh, yes, that's it. This is what I wanted to say. And I always uh, maintain the shows within 30, 35 minutes. It's almost 35 minutes. We don't want to have a... Very long uh, sessions and free counseling given in our office. Okay. Come with your parents or alone, whatever it is, UG, PG, come, collect all information. If you like it, process it. If not, just discard it. No problem. Anyway, it's everything for free. <laughs> just come, collect all the information, and very soon we'll be launching an app and uh, you'll get much more information through that. And do visit our office and do attend our webinar. Thank you. Take care. Stay safe. And once again, I appreciate and uh, you know thank all the students and parents supporting us genuinely for something which we do genuinely for the students, promoting free education, 
promoting fantastic public universities and B schools. Nobody does all these things. Overseas education is all about commission, commission, commission. That's all. Nothing else. And students suffer. And finally, they think studying itself is a waste. That is what people have started to talk right now. <laughs> so, studying in good universities, good programs, job oriented programs is what is the need of the hour. And students interested to study, contact us. We will be more than happy to guide you. Okay. Take care. Stay safe. See you all soon in our offices or in one other live show. Bye bye.